TIU men's basketball gets ready for the CCAC tournament, kicking off tonight at Holy Cross. Here with head coach Boomer Roberts. Uh, coach is a team you've seen before. They were here uh, earlier this year with uh, your team taking a 71 to 47 win. Um, obviously, things will be a little different on the road and with the postseason play. And also, give us some of your quick thoughts about uh, what you're in store for tonight. I think both teams have gotten a lot better um, from early January till now, especially them. Um, you know, we. We caught them on a night where they didn't make a whole lot of shots, and I know how dangerous they are, and our team knows how dangerous they are. Um, you know, guys like Moore and Bauer and Columbus, those guys can get hot at any time, and if they do, they're as good as anyone in the league. You know, they've had some really impressive wins. They've been arguably the hottest team um, down the stretch here in February. So uh, we know it'll be a different game, and uh, they'll be ready to go. They're very well coached. They play uh, much better at home. So. You know we have to bring it at a different level uh, to be able to go down there and get a victory and, and move on. Uh, teams coming off of a uh, overtime loss to nationally ranked St. Francis to wrap up the regular season, um, which overall has been a lot of ups and downs, uh, yeah. with, uh, kind of a slow start and then that big winning streak in the middle of the year, um, and then kind of uh, a little bit of a slow end as well, other than the win at, uh, against Harper Morris earlier. So, given this is your first year here at TIU, kind of what do you think about when you look back on the season so far? Honestly, it's it's been uh, it's been a blessing from the Lord. There's no question. God has done some really cool things within our program, um, especially in our locker room that, that the public doesn't get to see. Uh, he's really brought together our team as, as a family, and uh, you know that's that's what we're about. Number one, and we knew coming into the year we'd have to we'd have to play our best basketball every night, or or we wouldn't get it done just because the league is so tough and. Uh, you know, there's, there's so many good coaches and good players uh, that you have to you have to bring it every night. Um, I think you know some of the results surprise people from the outside, but really when we won, we deserved to, and when we didn't, uh, we didn't. And uh, I know that's cliche to say that, but we approached every game as its own as its own game. You know, as, as its own 40 minutes, and, and when we were losing, you know. Uh, you got to be able to make fun of yourself and, and take it a little bit and keep grinding at the same time and, and, and get back to uh, winning ways. And then when you're winning, you got to be able to make fun of yourself then as well and, and, and keep it light but continue to grind. So um, certainly from the outside looking in, it's, it's been a lot of peaks and valleys, and, and we know that. Um, but we, we're really appreciative of you know God's hand of favor on our team. And, and to be playing in the CCAC tournament is one of our goals at the beginning of the season. And uh, we believe that we have a lot left um, down down the stretch here, and, and hopefully we prove that um, this week. Uh, when you're facing off against a team that, uh, as we said, won in fairly dominant fashion here earlier in the year, um, is there anything special you have to do to kind of get your guys prepared so they don't overlook this team, or does the tournament kind of take care of that in itself? <laughs> we don't overlook anybody. Uh, you know, just being honest with you, we, we haven't been in a position to overlook anybody in a long time. So that's not something that we ever have to worry about. We, we kind of go into each game with an underdog mentality anyways, and, and we're on the road tonight. They're a higher seed, and we're on the road. So um, I think it would be really foolish to overlook any, anybody at this point. Um, but there's no question you have to guard them. Uh, they, they have some guys who can light it up that I talked about earlier that I have a lot of respect for um, that can get hot at any time. Um, so defensively, we'll have to be uh, on our A game, and we'll have to really guard the ball. We'll have to rebound the ball very well. And then you got to stick shots. Anytime you're on the road, you got to drive a couple hours. You know, it's it's tough to shoot it in an environment that we haven't played in this year. Um, so we got to be able to do that. But most importantly, we we, we have to play as a team. Um, again, we don't have the individual pieces where we can just go dominate teams on any given night. That's that's not our game. We have to be a better team for 40 minutes, and we recognize that. So I think our guys are ready to go. I don't think there's any any sort of arrogance or fear. Um, I think we're in a good stage of mind, and. Uh, we're, we're excited to see um, what happens tonight and, and this week. Tip off set for uh, 7 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Central. Uh, all the live stream links will be up at tiutrojans.com. Coach, thanks. Thanks, Greg.